So you mentioned a 50K brick. This one is a 50K capacity brick. This is called crosshatch, the pattern on the side. Uh, this texture in here is called dimpling. And of course the rest you can see is a mirror finish. Uh, this one does have some very uh, polished custom bolts in it, which are basically flawless. Uh, even the threads are mirror finished. So this is an example of a 50K. Uh, this one is 100K, so the proportions are slightly different. Um, this one here is also a 100K. It's called a double stack, so it holds two stacks of 50K. This lid is one inch thick, uh, solid aluminum. There's another 50K coming up right now. I think that's the Chevy, yeah, the Chevy brick right here. So that's called honeycomb pattern. Uh, this one's a skinny brick. This one's about an inch narrower than this first one I showed you, uh, but they're stunning as well. And we have all this other stuff but I want to show you one that we're about to ship out right now. That's a cool piece. That would actually, look, your logo would look pretty sick on something like that uh, with the golf ball dimples on it. That would look pretty sweet. I'll take you back here in the back. Here's a really large brick. Uh, that one holds 250K. That one's very heavy. This is the lid for that one. Uh, one we're just finishing now back here. So these are premium bolts. Everything is mirror finished on these bolts, inside out, so there's no, no part of this that isn't flawless. Uh, this one's a 25K capacity, but I could literally just make it a little bit thicker to make it hold 50,000. So, and of course we do a custom tool as well. And we move these out of the way, and I will show you what makes this one special. So this one, uh, we did the whole inside of the brick. I'll show you one on my way out. Um, most of the time we don't do that. This customer wanted the best of the best. Uh, we did the pattern on the inside lip. We did uh, brass inserts rather than stainless steel because they look pretty fancy. Um, we did all the sides in the Gucci pattern as well. We integrated our logo, which goes on the bottom of every brick, uh, with the Gucci uh, design also. And of course, this one's got Supreme on it. This is the lid for the same one. So this has got the Gucci logo, um, the Gucci chain, and then we did a real nice filigree around here, make it perfect, and of course the Supreme. And then we did the whole inside of this as well. So this one's just about as custom as you can get. I mean, I can always go crazier. It's really dependent upon your budget and how much time you want to give me. So let me know what you think about this. Oh, I want to show you. So remember the inside of this versus... Oh, and I guess I just exposed it. So I do my videos inside of an old walk-in cooler uh, that we decided not to remove from this part of our building when we kicked our tenant out. They had a restaurant in here. Uh, typically, this is what you would expect for the inside of a brick. Um, we can go as crazy as you want. So let me know what you think about all this stuff. I have a few more examples over here. So this one's what we call an old school 50K. So the splits in the center, so the top and the bottom hold the cash. Uh, this is a 50K with a lid, like the first one I showed you. Uh, Gucci pattern, mirror finish, of course. And then crosshatch there. Um, here is a 10K, and all these could be upsized to fit your needs. Uh, that's a 10K American Express. This is a 25K skinny brick. A 25K with a lid, which is what I just showed you, but the one I showed you a minute ago was much, much nicer. Here is a uh, Rolls Royce brick. Uh, full mirror finish all the way around, and that's a skinny brick as well. And uh, we got a this is some of our older stuff from way back in the old days. Uh, this is a nice 100k brick, this one's very, very heavy. Um, this is a machine finish, which I like, but I'm partial to mirror finishes, I like shiny stuff. So, there you go. Let me know what you like, what you think, and uh, we'll get it made. Oh, I want to show you also. So the bricks can be disguised as well. So for example, this is what we call a 100K double stack. 100,000 goes in the bottom. This one, the lid, uh, has a, a hole, I guess you could say, for a pot. So the gentleman, the customer is putting a plant in here. This will sit in his kitchen counter. Nobody's gonna know there's $100,000 in there. Here's one of our old school 100K bricks um, taken apart. This one's called a survival brick. So this one holds uh, gold coins, silver coins, and cash here. And then more cash goes up in the lid. So there's a couple ideas for you. Um, 
I can walk around for a long time. Here's another brick. That's a candle holder. That one holds 60K. There's an ashtray that holds a bunch of gold or silver coins. Here's the same ashtray in a different finish. And this is the difference between a mirror finish and a machine finish. So these two are identical parts, but one has got a different finish than the other. So we make pretty cool coasters too. Let's see, I got some more bricks over here. Oh yeah, I got a bunch over here. There's just a few more examples. Uh, this is a $10,000 capacity, 10, 25, 50. 10, 25, 50. These are called Zippo bricks. Uh, these just are designed to hold a Zippo lighter. They're very cool. Uh, we also make these that only hold a gift card. And we also make uh, these a slightly larger uh, with whatever car you have on there and uh, hold your key fob. So it's a really cool place. A lot of customers like Ferraris, Bentleys, and Mercedes with really nice key fobs. They buy those and uh, it's a cool place to keep it. And this is called a stash tray. This is the bottom, this is the top. So that's the ashtray part. This bottom part holds your Zippo and then whatever you smoke goes here. Uh, a couple more pretty basic bricks. What do I have over here? These are all badges. These go on license plates, but we're not going to get all the way into that right now. Um, that He-Man, Batman brick, that one's pretty sick. That's an old school style, but I really, really like that. There's a 10K coming around here. What is that? Oh, well, that's the back. Why is it in there backwards? I got to ask my display guy, like, what were you thinking? You put it in backwards. Let's see what's in the front. That's just the dino pattern. As a Tennessee Titan, it's a 50K brick. So let me know what you like about these and I will uh, make one just for you. That portion up there is also a 50K. Um, so if you like shiny stuff, you found the right guy in the right place. This was supposed to be like a one minute video, but here's a few more. Uh, mostly smaller ones are 10,000 capacity. The Hermes, 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 whatever it is, that was 100K. So, yeah, check it out. Let me know what you like.